With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Now in this question, we have to find x. So firstly, we will multiply the first two matrix. Then after the final multiply product, we will multiply the third matrix. So consider first two matrix as x minus 5 minus 1 into 1, 0, 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 0, 3. Now we know if we multiply two matrices, then the column of first matrix should be equal to row of first matrix and the final product will be equal to row of first matrix into column of second matrix. Now the row uh, order of this matrix is 1 into 3 that is first row and 3 column and order of this matrix is 3 into 3 that is 3 row and 3 column. Final product will be 1 into 3 that is this term and this term as this term and this term is similar so it, it says that we can multiply these two matrix now to multiply matrices we have to consider this way to this way then this and this now we will write it as x minus 0 minus 2 minus 10 2x minus 5 minus 3 which is equals to x minus 2 minus 10 2x minus 8 now we have to multiply it by third matrix so x minus 2 minus 10 2x minus 8 into x 4 1 now order of this matrix is 1 into 3 and our order of this matrix is 3 into 1 and given that the multiplication of whole is 0 now we will multiply this into this manner that is this and this then it will then final product will be 1 into 1 order x into x minus 2 minus 40 plus 2x minus 8 equals 0 so it will become x square minus 2x minus 40 plus 2x minus 8 equals 0 2x 2x cancel out then it will become x square minus 48 equals 0 then x square will be equal to 48 x is equals to plus minus root 48 and root 48 will be equal to 4 root 3 answer for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today